Unity, the engine behind some of the world's biggest video games, is making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Starting January 2024, Unity is going to be charging based off video games downloads and revenue. Fees vary, but for indie devs, this could be bankrupting them. Gary Newman, the boss over at Rust, says that this means that he would be paying $200,000 to Unity every month. And to make this all worse, Gary doesn't even trust Unity to be able to track downloads. Indie devs in the middle of developing their games right now are having to reassess their projects. Many of them are going to have to either restart or abandon everything. The Unity market shares have been plummeting and that brings additional questions because the bosses at Unity have been selling stocks a lot recently. Some of the most popular games, a really good one, Cult of Lamb, says they're going to be deleting their game in January because of this. But another major problem is this could bring up a new version of review bombing. If for some reason trolls are wanting to hurt a company, more powerful than review bombing them on Steam is to have multiple downloads of the game. You could set up bots or an entire fan base to download a game multiple times and charge the company into oblivion. Unity says they're only going to charge for the first download, but again, the developers don't trust them for tracking that kind of thing. This move is going to crush a lot of indie game developers, and that's where we get innovation in gaming. It's important that Unity corrects this because they are about to shift gaming industry in a very terrible way. There are other engines out there, of course Unreal Engine, but Unity was a very useful tool, especially for smaller companies, and it's a shame that they're abandoning their base. What do you guys think about this? What Unity games are you picking up now before they're gone?